Have you ever wondered why your CNC machine parts need heat treatment? The answer lies in the transformative power of heat treatment, a process that can significantly enhance the performance and durability of metal components. Welcome to Rapid Direct. Today we'll explore the process of heat treatment and how it works. Without further ado, let's get to it. Heat treatment is a control process that involves heating and cooling metal components to alter their properties. The primary purpose of heat treatment is to modify the microstructure of the material. This, in turn, affects its hardness, strength, ductility, and other characteristics. This means heat treated parts can withstand greater stresses and perform better under demanding conditions. This process can profoundly impact the performance and longevity of various products. To better grasp the significance of heat treatment, let's consider a few examples. Tools, like drill bits and cutting blades, undergo heat treatment to increase their hardness. This enables them to withstand repeated use and maintain sharp cutting edges. Automotive parts, like engine components and gears, often undergo heat treatment to improve their strength and resistance to wear. Now, let's explore the five fundamental heat treatment techniques that are commonly used to achieve specific material properties. The first one is annealing. It involves heating the material to a specific temperature and then slowly cooling it to make it softer and more ductile. This process also improves machinability, making the material easier to shape and form. Secondly, we have quenching. This is the rapid cooling of the materials to increase their hardness. By carefully controlling the cooling rate, the microstructure of the material can be transformed. This process is known as Martensitic transformation. This results in a harder and more brittle state. The third technique is tempering. It is a process that follows quenching, where the material is reheated to a specific temperature and then cooling it in a controlled manner. This step helps reduce the brittleness introduced by the quenching process while balancing the hardness and toughness of the material to make it more resistant to fractures and ensure optimal performance. The fourth technique is hardening, which involves heating the material to the austenitizing temperature, followed by rapid cooling through quenching to form martensite. It provides a hardened layer to the material's surface to improve wear resistance. This technique is often used for components that require a hard exterior while maintaining a relatively softer and more ductile interior. Finally, there is normalizing. This technique aims to achieve a uniform microstructure and relieve internal stresses in the material. It involves heating the material to a specific temperature and then cooling it in still air. This process improves the overall strength and toughness of the material. Now that we understand the basic techniques, let's walk through the general steps of the heat treatment process. The process begins with preheating, where the material is gradually brought to a specific temperature. This step ensures even heating and prepares the material for the next stages. Once the preheating is complete, the material is heated to a temperature suitable for the desired transformation. The exact temperature depends on the material and the desired outcome. This is followed by the soaking phase. This involves maintaining the material at the desired temperature for a specified period. This allows the internal structure to reach equilibrium, ensuring the desired transformation occurs uniformly throughout the material. After the soaking phase, the material undergoes controlled cooling. The cooling rate is carefully controlled to achieve the desired microstructure and properties. Different cooling methods are employed depending on the material and the desired outcome. It could be air cooling or quenching in specific media like water, oil, or polymer. Once the material has cooled, it undergoes post-treatment processes, including cleaning, inspection, and finishing. These steps ensure the final product meets the required specifications and quality standards. Several factors influence the heat treatment process and its outcome. Let's take a closer look at some of these factors. First, material composition. Different materials respond differently to heat treatment. Their chemical composition is crucial in determining the optimal heat treatment parameters and the resulting properties. Second, heating and cooling rates. The rates at which the material is heated and cooled have a significant impact on its microstructure and properties. Rapid cooling promotes hardness, while slower cooling rates can lead to a softer and more ductile material. Third, temperature control. Precise temperature control is essential throughout the heat treatment process. 
Accurately measuring and maintaining temperatures ensure consistent results and desired material properties. Fourth, time at temperature. The duration for which the material is held at a specific temperature affects the extent of transformation and the resulting microstructure. Fifth, quenching media. The choice of quenching medium, such as water, oil, or polymer, can significantly influence the cooling rate. As a result, it will affect the material's final properties. Each quenching medium offers different cooling characteristics. In summary, heat treatment is a transformative process that can greatly enhance the mechanical properties of metal components. Through various techniques, the microstructure of materials can be modified to achieve desired characteristics. Heat treatment is a vital process in numerous industries, particularly for components that demand exceptional durability and robustness, such as tools, gears, springs, and more. If you're in need of heat-treated parts or comprehensive manufacturing solutions, look no further than Rapid Direct. We provide one-stop manufacturing services, including heat treatment and other machining techniques, and various surface finishes. Contact us today for more information and discover how we can meet your specific manufacturing needs. Thank you for joining us today on this exploration of heat treatment. Stay tuned for more educational content from Rapid Direct. Bye.